my playhouse together. it is quicken and welcome back to my channel if you are new here I'm in love with you no but seriously hey guys and welcome so today I have kind of an exciting video for you guys and it is all about Polly Pockets so Polly Pocket is celebrating I believe their 30th anniversary and they came out with a collection with Hot Topic so Justine and I were at the mall a few weekends ago, actually two weekends in a row, and we went to Hot Topic and I noticed some items for like a soft open for Polly Pocket, but I couldn't find any Polly Pocket stuff on their website. So I emailed them and I was like, hey, are you coming out with a Polly Pocket collab? Because there was like an enamel pin and a wallet and I'm obsessed with the wallet. I emailed them and I was like, are you up to something? And they said, yes, we are up to something. So I am super, super excited to show you these two makeup items from the Polly Pocket collab. So since talking to them, the, the soft open is now a hard open and they are out and available to the public online and in store. But these I'm super excited about because they are cruelty free and vegan makeup products. Hot Topic makeup, you know, it is awesome that it is cruelty free and that they do go that extra step. You know what I mean? Because I feel like they could cheap out and just make it like licensed so people want it, but they really do take the time to formulate it so everybody can enjoy it. And I really like that. I'm super excited about this. So hang out with me and I will recreate this Polly Pocket inspired look for you guys. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's start off. Um, I am going to just put on my base makeup, cover this thing, and then I'll get back to you. Also, every Polly Pocket ever wears a headband, so I should figure that out as well. But look at how cool this is today. I want to keep that. Time to buckle in. Okay, so my face is done, and why not? So, I noticed that Polly's don't always have like a headband across, most of them do, but sometimes they just have like something in their hair. So I gave myself a scrunchie. So I think I would like to start with the lips. And here is the little lip palette. And then this is the lip palette. So it's a nice hard plastic that has like a pillowy detail. And it has the like Polly Pocket logo that you would remember. You can like run your fingers over it. Oh, that's so nice. And then it pops open just like the Polly Pocket kits when we were little. And it's funny, like the second I grabbed this and like touched it and held on to it, immediately that like 
you know, you like stick your thumb under here and like pop it. That felt so familiar. It felt so good. Like, let me know if you played with Polly's, if you had the placemat so you could build the town. Ah! Okay, so here is the Polly lip quad. And this is just called lip palette. So these aren't like called anything specific. So just lipsticks in a palette. It has a little protective seal on it, we stand. And there is our main girl in the middle with this like lip brush. And she is like a rubberized plastic. Did I fingernail this? She's really rubberized. And then this the little brush right here. So you can't really grip on this, so you'd have to grip it down here. I really do like this. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide-On Lip Pencil in Ozone. It's kind of just like a white, like a clear, a clear boy. So I use this um, Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus foundation that everyone's kind of been talking about. I don't know if I like it. I look good on camera, so that matters, but I don't know if I like it. it kind of smelled like paint. Like I'm, the tip of this just broke off, but I was done. I wish this wasn't like boing boing boing, because I'd love to keep it in my collection, but I guess it'll stay in here anyway. So I think I'm going to go with this like more pinky nude. Like it's a good combo of like these two. Because I don't think I have any colors like this, and I think that's very pretty. Load her up. I like that. Wow. That's pretty. I like that color. Hi. I just feel bad putting this back in the thing dirty. I'll just wipe it a little bit. Here is the Polly Pocket eyeshadow palette. Here it is. The thing about this um, unicorn is that it's cardboard. And I feel like if you were a collector and you wanted to buy this for the collector's value, the plastic is cool. And then this is cardboard, but I guess it plays better with your other palettes if you're a makeup collector. So you can see Polly, she's in her house. This is the Polly that is like throughout all of the collection. And these are like 3D. So here's her bed, there she is. And then here are the colors and it comes with another Polly brush. And this is the same Polly. So with this, you can flip this all the way back, which is nice if you're working from it like a painter and it comes with 10 shades and I don't hate these shades at all so I think it is like a very nice pastel -y kind of thing great for spring before I looked this up I like tried to see is my blush not blended I tried to see what kind of makeup looks were coming out with this and I haven't seen a lot of people playing with this yet so I think that it's really really cute so obviously this goes without saying that these items are definitely novelty and for collectors or people interested or people about that life. So I would like, you know, this makeup is from Hot Topic, so I'm not going to like completely tear it apart, you know? So I'm putting down Take Me Anywhere Polly Pocket. And with that same brush, I'm going to put Cutie all over my lid. These are more like pastels, so I'm just gonna turn down my lighting a little bit. Now you can see my under eye. So there is a little bit of kickback if that's something you're interested in knowing. Now I'm going to take this color Polyville, it's the lavender shade, and go right into my crease. Just blend that out a little bit. I would say there's not a huge difference between those colors, at least not visible 
on camera. But I did want to put that down as a layer so I could put on this color, which is Polly. And this is the more like Grimace purple. Now that that's down, the shade I really was attracted to the most in this palette, other than love, is shiny. So I'm going to put that down and start darkening up my crease with it. I don't think that'll work. Hold on. Change of plans. I'm going to go in with the copper shade Love. And just sweep that in the crease again. And now I'm going to clean this up. Now that we have that, I'm going to go in with shiny. I'm gonna do my other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is it so far. I'm trying to blend this little area out. It's just a little blotchy, but it doesn't get more 90s than this. So let's hit him with a wing and then we'll move on to the under eye. Wow, my eyeliner was so dried out. Goes to show how often I do my freaking makeup all the way. So hey, I'm going to town today anyway, and I guess serving. And I'm just going to fill in my lower eyelid a little bit, even though this is kind of what Polly looks like. She looks like this. And I'm gonna go in with love and hit the bottom here. My eyeliner is like skipped. And then right underneath that, I'm going to drag cute just to like enhance this like eye bag a little bit. And look cute. And that is like pushed under my eye like that. Then with some concealer, I'm just going to put a little dot right here in my corner, my eye corner. And then I'm going to go in with It's a Small World, which is this sparkly white, and hit him where it hurts. Let me clean that up, because I didn't think it would work. Going back in with Cute, cleaning that up. Okay, hi. So, a little Take Me Anywhere Polly Pocket around the eyebrow. And that's our Polly Pocket look. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think it looks cool. I think it looks, I think it looks extra. Like, I think I look like a doll. I'm on Instagram. Honestly, like, my thoughts on this are Hot Topic makeup was the first makeup I ever really had and, like, used. And I would always make, like, a leopard print above my eye, like that's the only makeup I ever, ever wore. Like no lipstick, no concealer, no foundation. I only ever wore eye makeup until I was like 21. <laughs> and I would always wear like the yellow cream eyeshadow with like a leopard print on top or the blue cream eyeshadow. I have an affinity for Hot Topic makeup just because I think that it 
was great learning makeup for me when I was teenager and it was exactly what I wanted when I was punk and seen. It was so much easier getting ready then. So my thoughts on this makeup is that I really like it. Um, I think that it's cool. I think that I don't have these colors anywhere else in anything I own because I exclusively wear neutrals. So it was fun to play with these and if you couldn't tell, like. I had a little bit of a hard time because it is new to me. I think the last time I had a pink like this was like the naked, what was it called? Like sleepy eye palette or like natural eye palette, boudoir eye palette. It was like one of these Too Faced palettes but had like a periwinkle and I think that was it. And I used to love using it. So honestly, I really like this. I think it goes without saying though that this makeup is incredibly sheer and worked a lot better when I put down an eyeshadow base as you can see. So sheer and buildable but very 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 sheer makeup which can be good if you like to blend or you're a beginner or if you're looking for something pastel and light but I just wanted to say that one more time, very sheer makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like this, just let me know and I will continue to make them. I love you guys so much and until next time, bye.